Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. When it comes to headlines in Hollywood, the biggest stars often find themselves in big legal trouble. And here to deconstruct some of the most recent celebrity lawsuits are attorneys and authors of the book, How to Talk to Your Lawyer, Elora Nanos and Michelle Saleo. They also starred in Staten Island Law on Oprah Winfrey's network own. Hi ladies. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Well, I'm so excited that we have our legal eagles to kind of, you know, explain in real people terms, that's what I like to call it, uh, what's going on with some of these celebrities. I mean, let's, let's first start with Rihanna, okay? So Rihanna is suing her accountant for bad financial advice that almost left her bankrupt in 2009, which for me is kind of hard to imagine. Rihanna bankrupt? I mean, she's worth well, now a reported 43 million. But from, from what I learned from TL, the TLC bankruptcy, <sighs> Uh, they, you know, they make very little um, percentage per dollar that they earn. So it's quite possible that she could wind up being bankrupt. Also, this happened to Tony Braxton not once but twice. I mean, Donald Trump went bankrupt too. Yeah. Right. So, so it's not bankruptcy doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have any money. It, uh, being a celebrity doesn't necessarily mean that you do have money. Right. And so, there's a lot of people taking mm -hmm. taking pieces of the absolutely. pie. Right? Absolutely. And also when there's this is like a big machine. It's just not Rihanna going to work every day and then bringing home her paycheck and putting it in her savings account. Like this is a machine of right of, of finances, of people and agencies yeah. and everybody doing things. For right. her. So it does make sense to me that she would have an accountant. I'm sure she has a team of people yeah. that are doing financial planning for her. Um, so the allegation here is that um, that the accountant gave her bad advice because when she went to the accountant and she said, can I afford to buy this house, that apparently he told her, yes, you can, and in reality, no, she could not. So do you think that she has a good case? I mean, I know you don't have all the details, but... It, is the accountant, you know, legally if, responsible for giving her all be. the right answers to things? I feel like if the if the facts are, I asked an expert for advice, he gave me advice, the advice was terrible, then what then you he's have, absolutely on then the he's hook absolutely on the hook, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing that that kind of makes me a little bit concerned about this. Rihanna has a history of taking no responsibility for anything. Okay, I don't believe her. I think she's a spoiled brat. <laughs> I but do. How, but I how do you she's really feel? But how do you really yes. feel about Rihanna? So, yeah, I'll get that. So, so the audience agrees with you. So by this the way. is this is what I don't like about the case. She is suing him not only for giving her bad advice about whether or not to buy this house, but she's also suing him because apparently the accountant was supposed to know that this particular house had mold in it. Right. Does that That's, sound like an accountant's job? No. That, when yeah. you buy a house, do you ask your accountant if the house is a good house? That's a <laughs> stupid thing to do. You, wow, mean, the accountant, me sick. you wow. mean the accountant didn't go in with some kind of a, a mold inspection so, system yeah. and, and scope it out for her? Well, and I, I think that there's a lot that really turns on what it is that she asked this accountant and yeah. what it is that he right. said. Because just saying, well, he, I, I, he said I could afford it, that's not enough. I want to know, did she go to him and say, I can afford this house, right? Like, <laughs> and he was like, like, did she pull his pants down? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what she asked. I, I think know. asking an accountant, like, do I have enough money? And him being like, uh-huh, I mean, you That's have to look job. into it yourself. You have to look into it yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I want to, yeah. ladies, I want to move on to Howie Mandel, okay? Howie, Howie Mandel, Mandel is the executive producer of a prank show called Deal With It, yeah. and a restaurant in LA is suing him because, or sorry, suing him for over $100,000 worth of damage because during a prank at this restaurant, he allegedly hired an actress who broke dishes, ruined furniture, destroyed a Yamaha piano, uh, cracked Moroccan tile. Yeah. What's, what, what are your thoughts about this? I'm Does, so sure that there's $100,000 worth of damages in this Mexican Indian Moroccan tile <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> this is like- well, a piano the, is kind of expensive. Yeah, $100,000. $100, I'm sure what happened was they were like, there's a chip in the Yamaha piano. Don't worry about it, Howie Mandel's coming in with your show. Yeah. I'll take care of it today. <laughs> oh, well, well, this I have is to the ask stupidest you. thing I've ever heard. Ladies, I want to ask you this. Do, do celebrities have a, an upper hand when it comes to law suits that they're in, or does being a celebrity work against them? Compared to a Joe Schmo, what are your thoughts? I think no, it goes either way. I think way. it depends. I okay. mean, like, it if you would have asked the OJ the in the, you know, in the early 90s, his answer would have been different if you ask him today. Ask Phil Spector. He's behind bars. You know I what mean, I mean? Like, I think, it depends. in this situation, I think that when it comes to civil suits, celebrities are way bigger targets than the average person. Yeah. Jerry Seinfeld right. got sued for things that yeah. regular people don't get sued for. Um, I, you know, in, in this situation, it makes no sense that, that Howie Mandel's even being sued because right. when, when a television show is filming, 
both the production company and the restaurant should have insurance, yeah. right? So it makes zero sense that they're even. But he's a lawsuit. celebrity, so they think, <laughs> they think Jack. That, that okay, rich. so yeah. Yeah. so real quick, that brings me to our last story, Chris Brown. Okay, we can't have a legal segment without discussing Chris not. Brown. Come on now. Right. Uh, okay, now he's being sued for allegedly attacking an opponent during a basketball game at a gym in California, but his lawyer claims that Brown is being extorted by the alleged victim. So this kind of makes me think of what you said. Sometimes celebrities are targets. I could imagine that. I, what I think is interesting, because this is actually the second lawsuit against Chris Brown by someone who is saying that, that he was a victim of an assault. And what I think is interesting is that normally, if you're going to sue someone civilly about something like an assault, normally you would wait until after the criminal case, because if the person is criminally convicted, your civil case is very easy to win. Okay, you say, that, Look, yeah, that right. was going to be my question. Because you, have, right, you so. have a higher burden of proof in the criminal case, unless what you're trying to do is get a little money out of somebody who's not going to get criminally not, convicted because right. it didn't really happen. Right. right. So right. now you so want to push the civil suit faster. Qu quicker because you know you, you don't have the confidence that the criminal suit will resolve in a way that will help your civil suit. Ladies, I absolutely love hearing everything you have to say about this. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining Thank us. You. Thank you. are excellent. Coming up next, the hottest Hollywood fitness craze with a celebrity trainer from New York City. Stay tuned. Thank you.